I'm John Ludy, and I'm a musician, a writer, a humorist, and a occasional uh, political, economic, and environmental pundit. And uh, before I get into things, uh, if you want to find out more about those aspects of my amusing little universe, you can go to johnludi.com. That is johnludi.com. And you will find links to my YouTube videos, uh, to my uh, Facebook page for my music. Um, my blog is linked on there, and also uh, various other things, recommended reading list, and a albums page where you can download for free. Uh, about, uh, I think, seven of my albums are on there right now, so download away. Um, another couple of things. If you see my eyes darting around in a shifty manner, it just means that uh, I'm shifty. Uh, no, actually, what it means is that I'm referring to the notes that I just wrote about a half hour ago. Uh, so, <laughs> I just, for some reason in the heat, I just don't feel like memorizing them. Um, and uh, if you hear a steady drip, 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 uh, that is coming from my gravity-fed water filter setup, uh, which will be detailed in a future video. And if you're birds, well, uh, it's because there's uh, birds. You may even hear a lawnmower because the people in the cabin across my uh, creek, for some reason, are obsessive about their lawns being mowed. Um, so, yes, uh, <laughs> what is this all about? Basically, uh, on July 1st, uh, a little less than a month ago, I decided to leave my life in the city of Chicago with all its amenities and frustrations and come and live in the woods on a piece of property that I bought about two years ago. Come and live in the woods with all its amenities and frustrations. And um, to document this, uh, because what I'm attempting to do here is live off-grid to the greatest uh, extent I can increasingly, and to teach other people how to do so as well, if there's anything I have of value to teach. Um, why is this strange man doing this? Well. Basically, I'm doing it because I have, for about 30 years, since my mid-teens, uh, while other people were out having fun, I was studying long-range, long-term trends in uh, environmental issues, in um, population growth, in uh, resource consumption and depletion, and I came to a conclusion quite a while ago that this great experiment that we have in globalization, this great experiment that we have in a interlocking, networked, interdependent global civilization is essentially doomed to failure. The numbers just don't add up. And all these various trends conflict with each other in a way that leads me and a great many other people to the conclusion that it's just not going to work. In the long run, it's not sustainable. So I'm here trying to be sustainable. Um, now, I should note that I'm not looking at this as a religious person or somebody tied into any type of economic or political agenda. I'm really kind of in my own weird little place, and it doesn't actually have a name. I just prefer to call it what John thinks on any given occasion. Um, so, you know, so I'm not waiting for some sort of messiah to show up, and I don't believe that if the entire globe embraced socialism, everything would be wonderful, nor do I think that free markets are the answer to everything. Um, I do believe that the growth paradigm, because of resource depletion, uh, is essentially at an end. And since our global civilization uh, basically thrives on the growth paradigm, well, there you go. Um, so the logical conclusion that one should make as an individual, as a thinking individual, when looking at these things, uh, knowing that the system has only a limited lifespan, is to learn how to live outside of that system and to be less reliant on uh, anything outside of themselves because it may not be there for that much longer. 
So I've decided to live off grid to see how doable it is for somebody like myself who basically grew up and spent roughly 30 years in Detroit, um, spent about seven years in Minneapolis, spent maybe a couple of years in Providence, Rhode Island, and the balance of his 46 years in Chicago. Uh, my immediate family was a city family. My extended family, grandparents were rural, and I spent a certain amount of time with them. So I did gain a certain amount of skills, but essentially, I'm a city guy living in the woods with coyotes and owls and um, hummingbirds and just crawling, scuttling things. And so basically, I'm trying to see how somebody like myself can learn to be um, probably not 100% off grid, but as close to it as possible. And when I say grid, let me define that a little bit. When I say grid, I'm not saying just our increasingly vulnerable electrical grid. I'm referring to the grid in a holistic sense. I'm referring to the vast network of production and distribution that allows society, civilization to happen. So, um, went to France for a second, I'm back. Um, so these videos, that I'm doing under the name Off Grid John to differentiate them from my musical output. Um, they're here to both share my experiences as I increasingly try to uh, decrease my dependence upon the system um, and to, uh, you know, to provide instruction to other people who may be mulling over the idea of doing this. Um, to some extent or another. I mean, myself, I have three acres, and on it I put a yurt and a shed. You may not necessarily want to go that far. This is a little extreme. Um, but, you know, um, hopefully this will help people. Uh, some of these videos are instructional. Some of them are entertainment. Some of them are just humor. Some of them are share the joys and the challenges. Um, of living a lot closer to nature than the majority of people are. So I welcome you and I thank you and I welcome your feedback, uh, if it's thoughtful and considerate feedback and criticism. If you see me doing something and you knew of another, you know, you know of another way that it can be done, let me know via YouTube or Facebook or whatnot. And uh, that's it. Thank you and uh, enjoy. Bye now.